Spiral stairs were part of a strategy to defend the towers of medieval castles. Attackers had to climb single file and couldn't storm the castle all at once. And at the top of the stairs, the guardsmen could more easily maneuver their swords, giving them the upper hand. Spiral stairs take people to the next level without taking up a lot of space. They're compact, and with their corkscrew curvature, they can also be architectural features. Production starts with the steel hubs, cut to the desired riser height. A worker files the sharp edges smooth and drills a threaded hole which will be used to fasten the treads in place. A computer-driven plasma system cuts through a sheet of steel to produce the pie-shaped stair treads. A worker nestles the tread to the hub and clamps them in a weld fixture. He also clamps structural supports to the base of the tread. With everything in the right configuration, he welds the supports to the tread and the hub. He'll make 12 of these hub and tread assemblies. He chips off the weld slag for cleaner seams. A team slides the hub and tread assemblies onto the center pole and rotates them to the correct position. The design geometry dictates the rotation. Once rotated correctly, the workers fasten the hubs to the pole and add a platform for the top step. A baluster spins in a lathe as tools cut it to length and round the end to the correct diameter. The operator measures the diameter. He inserts the rounded end in a die that carves a thread into it. A worker welds a steel cup just above the threaded part of the baluster. This cup will support the baluster once it's been installed on the thread. He grinds the weld scale from the cup. He inserts the baluster through holes in a metal spacer and the tread. He screws a nut onto the end to secure it. Using rollers now, another worker twists long strips of metal into spiraling handrails that match the rise of the stairs. He fits the rail to the top balusters and clamps it in place. He then welds the balusters to the rail. He adds more railing until it spirals all the way down to the first step. The team secures it to the platform. The spiral staircase's metal structure is now complete. It's ready for the wooden accents. A worker applies glue to pieces of red oak. He'll use two of them to make one stair tread. He clamps two tread sets in a fixture while the glue sets. He inserts a shim and tightens the clamp to apply downward pressure. Once the glue has cured, a planer shaves the tread perfectly flat and to the desired thickness. After refining the profile, a worker rounds the edge of the stair tread using a router. After gluing strips of wood together to create a curved railing, he sands the excess adhesive and with a file, removes more of the glue. He turns the railing over and carves a groove in the wood. This will enable the railing to be installed over the metal rail support. He adds some detailing along the edge. A team then fits the wooden railing to the metal support structure. All of the rail sections fit together perfectly. After the pre-fit, they remove the railing and sculpt the edges to be rounder. The rounded edges complement the overall spiral design. A worker pre-fits the wooden treads to the metal structure and then disassembles the entire spiral staircase for painting and staining. The spiral stairs are then ready for reassembly in the building they were designed for. They'll definitely add a certain twist to the interior design.